Hey guys and welcome to my first bullet journal flip through. So for the last 2020 I used two notebooks. The first eight months of the year kind of fitted in the first one and then we went to the second one. So diving into the first one. So into my first cover page for 2020. I was so proud of this cover page. It took me a few days to design this and lots of um, different types of proteas and practicing, but I really, really like this. Looking back now, I'd like to change a bit of it, but I was really proud of that at the beginning. So my grid spacing here has been a lifesaver. Um, I know a lot of YouTubers use this and it really is a lifesaver. So I highly recommend that you have that in there. And then yeah, just flipping through um, to all the different pages I had set up at the beginning. Um, I didn't get much reading done. <laughs> didn't really read. I wasn't going to fill this bookshelf ever. Um, I actually got more reading done than I thought. And then I had these grand plans of visiting all these places in our new home. And obviously that didn't happen this year. I won't go into detail on that. Um, yeah, so these pages here are my NFP period tracking, natural family planning tracking. So um, those are all there. And then my first theme for the month was, or the first theme for the year was January and it was this um, African pattern. I really enjoyed this. Um, something I've realized through this year is I really enjoy bright patterns. So this was my first setup and I put up all my weeks because I was just using this for a weekly basis. I put up all my weeks on, on one page and I actually landed up hating it. I didn't like that there was no art on the page. I didn't like that it was so boring when I was working through my weeks. I just didn't like it. So I knew going into February that I needed to change that up and I needed to have some artwork or something pretty to look at um, for each of my weeks. And then my month in review. Um, moving into February, I did giraffes. They're kind of, they're really cute. I didn't have any art supplies. I just had some colored pencils really. So. And that's what this theme was. And then, as I said, I wanted something pretty to look at each week. And I came up with these Dutch doors where you flip through the bottom. And that really, really helped me in terms of just keeping, keeping me inspired and keeping the journal working for me and making me happy every time I opened it. And February was also the month I started my YouTube channel. So March was an interesting one. I wanted to do an Irish theme because that was the month we moved to Ireland. Um, in 2019 and I decided to go with these Celtic knots. There was so much fun to do but so much work. Um, and then I had this year of first page with all my first, like my first job and there was a uh, protest in Dublin with the tractors and <laughs> it's just memories over the last year. And I went with the same design as I had for February. It worked really well. At this point I wasn't using my bullet journal for work purposes. It was just for personal purposes. I got really sick in March. It's just nice looking back and remembering all these things. I got really sick in March. I don't know what it was. I was on the list for getting the official test, but it never came through. Um, and yeah, then moving on, had a bit of a crazy, so many plans didn't come through. And then for April, I went for a cherry blossom theme. I was very sick, so I didn't actually film the setup of this, but I did film a flip, flip through if you want to have a look. Again, we're still using this for personal purposes. And I really enjoyed this theme. I love pink. Pink is my favorite color. I liked the having, again, the view on either side of the Dutch door for each week. It just, and having the habits there. I don't have to flip back and forth to fill in the habits. I really enjoyed that. Then for April, as part of my self-care, kind of looking up to myself during lockdown, I created a feelings wheel and decided to write down and keep track of my feelings for every day. Along with that, whenever I was feeling a bit weird, I did a journal entry. So not a lot of journal entries, but just a few. And then um, just had a little review at the end, nothing much to say there. Then May, I think this is probably the theme I hate the most in my journal. It just didn't turn out that great. At the time I loved it, but looking back it's horrible. So I did a roller Picasso, so you kind of take dice and draw different things to set up different faces. And it's bright and colourful, but I don't know, I just don't like I just don't like the figures, the faces, they just not cool. Um, so stuck with my layout. And yes, then this was, I was making masks 
masks for the community and donating masks and I got a sewing machine for my birthday in March. In total I made 250 masks, I was really proud of myself so that was me just tracking who I needed to deliver masks to and get them to and I actually really enjoyed that. I miss making masks, it was a lot of fun. On to June, I didn't know what to do and I decided to do this koi fish theme. The background there is painted with acrylic paint. Um, that didn't go so well. It got all sticky and it was just not, not a good, um, not a good method to do. So this was the first month I decided to use my bullet journal for work and personal. So I had two together. So because I was using it for work, I needed more space every day to have a to-do list. So that's why I have a little bit more pages now. So every week I needed to kind of set up and have a weekly spread. I guess that's how most people use um, their bullet journals and they'll relate to that. So one thing I didn't do in June was set up a dedicated habits tracker. And I actually missed that. I really, really missed that. And I didn't like having to set that up every week. So that was something that I took with me into, into July. Moving into July, I did this Portuguese tile theme. I had a gratitude log, which I really enjoyed setting up. I thoroughly enjoyed this theme. I think it's really, really pretty. I love the blue and the flowers and everything. Coming up with the different designs, it's very intricate. It is quite time consuming, but quite therapeutic. You'll notice I don't stick to one type of weekly spread. I, every kind of week I split up things differently and show it differently. I think this kind of setup was my most favorite. It's kind of not one I defaulted to through for the rest of the year. Um, but I just was experimenting. I was trying to figure out what I liked, what I didn't like. Here I just didn't have the energy to set up more tiles and here I didn't have the energy to do my review. I did it in pencil, so I've recorded things, but I don't always use it. Like It's okay if you don't use your bullet journal. So moving on to August, I really like this theme. It came out so well, like more than I can imagine. I love the colors, the pastel blocks. Um, I love the silhouettes. I, uh, the meal plan worked out really, really well. As you can see, my habit tracking not going so well. But yeah, I really, really um, like this August theme. This page is not my favorite. Um, but this next setup I really liked with the overlocking overblock blocks and the silhouette patterns and the two ladies like screening on the block. I really, really liked that one. Um, and yeah, that then took me to the end of that notebook. So then I moved into a new notebook. And this was a Otagami notebook. It's got 150 GSM pages and the thickness of the pages just I blew my mind. I really enjoyed working with this book. So I just did a quick setup in the beginning just to kind of carry over some things. I didn't want to be going between notebooks and filling in different notebooks at different times. So I set that up and was more realistic in my reading goals. I set up a cleaning schedule, which I didn't do. I set up a weight loss progress, which I didn't do. I set up social media tracking, nothing's filled in there. So um, yeah, I have some work to do in terms of that. In my defense, work had been incredibly busy, busy September, October, November. It was just insane working the most ridiculous hours. So yeah, for September, I did a tea theme. I enjoyed it, it was really pretty. Um, I think obviously I need to work on my painting and my art skills because there's some things that need to improve. I didn't like the tea bag set up for this. It didn't turn out well. I hated this kind of thing. I hated it. It's just horrible. I don't like looking at it. For the rest of the month, I decided to do a, each week kind of themed. So the first one was black tea. This is chamomile tea. Then moving on to lady grey tea. And then ginger and honey. And I much preferred that. It was just a better setup for me. Then October. October was a difficult month. I did this fox theme. It's not my favorite. You see there on the last day of September, I was on sick leave. And October, I'll be honest, I didn't really use my bullet journal that much. It was just for work and just didn't do my goals. It was just for work and getting my to-do lists done. I didn't do anything. And that was because in end of September, early October, I had a miscarriage. And to be honest, I didn't care for anything else. I was just trying to put my head down, get through the work that I needed to. Took a few days off as I needed to, but you'll see the theme just... I just wasn't into it. I just wasn't into doing anything. I was literally using this as a to-do list so that I managed to get my work done. But that was it. I just wasn't feeling it at all. So uh, October was a bit of a flop in terms of bullet journaling. But life happens. 
I just didn't even fill in the last week of October. I didn't even have a to-do list or a review or anything. Then, moving into November, and I think this is my favorite out of the whole year. I just loved it. It's so bold and beautiful. I did these Hungarian embroidery inspired flowers. Tried to bring back my budget. Just <laughs> didn't work. <laughs> Um, the budget spreads just aren't working for me. I need to figure something else there. Um, for this theme, I used gouache paints for the first time and I really, really loved it. But as you can see, I was just so busy at work. Like, just I could, didn't have enough space to write things. I had to write it out on separate pieces of paper. Okay, this spread here with this garden little secret garden in my notebook i love it it's my favorite out of all of them this is my second favorite but that previous page is definitely my favorite i absolutely loved it it made me so happy working my notebook that week moving on to december i didn't post a plan with me but i did do a december spread and this is what it looked like setting up my gift ideas packing list for a holiday that we were gonna take which we did thankfully land up being able to take despite lockdowns it just worked out thankfully like just that week ago i i love that garden theme so much so i decided to do a similar thing for december it wasn't as nice but the glitter paints made me really happy the glitter watercolors <laughs> that was good um and then this was my last week at work before i went on a very long leave which i desperately needed i was so burnt out and then just one page kind of for the rest of december and getting everything done and that's it that takes me to the end of 2020 i think looking back over all my themes the ones that were my favorite i definitely loved march i loved the um celtic knots and setting that up i really enjoyed july August as I mentioned and then November is my absolute favorite and this garden page oh just looking at it makes me so happy I love it so much so let me know what your favorite theme is out of the ones that I've done for 2020 and let me know if there's any you'd like to see into 2021 so that's it thank you so much for watching for tuning in uh, let me know your thoughts and comments like subscribe all those good things and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day cheers